Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bill Heenan Real Estate Show. Today is September 2nd, Wednesday. Almost forgot what day it was and I wanted to take a moment. It's been a few weeks since I've given you an update on the real estate market here in New London County and holy cow, what a market it has been. You know, I've been doing this since the early 90s. I think my first sale was in 1991. Um, I think I still have a, a referral letter from that first sale and uh, I've never seen a market gobble up inventory like this market has gobbled up inventory and we've talked over recent months about why that was happening a shortage in inventory uh, more demand in buyers we were already in a buyer building demand market but when the inventory went down by 30 percent it just sent us almost a year a year and a half ahead um, as far as the sellers favorability on this real estate market. So now we are in this all out sellers market. You know, um, we happen to be and are fortunate enough to be one of the largest or leading listing groups and listing teams here in the county. And um, I would be willing to say that uh, about 60% of our inventory as soon as we list it is either sold within days or in multiple offers within days. So I think this week we listed five homes on Thursday and three of them were sold by Sunday and two of them went into multiple offers. One went for $15,000 $15, over asking price, the other one went for $5,000 over asking price. So that's the type of market we're in. But what really astounds me, because I've been in those types of markets where multiple offers were consistent and higher than asking price offers needed to take place in order to have a win and buyer um, contract. But what's perplexing and um, uh, really kind of uh, interesting to monitor is the amount of inventory that's being gobbled up. Um, I looked at the total closed units for New London County last year. We had a total closed units for single family and condos in New London County of 3,700 units. We've already closed 2,500 units this year in New London County and we have 950, just under 950 pending units. And we only have 630 active units. So let me restate that. We have 930 units pending as I speak, and we only have 630 units active in New London County right now. I've never seen a market such as this. So, and what that says to me is that it's gonna be, you know, we are in this uptick in market. The COVID pushed us ahead a year or two. We went from 2005 levels numerically, selling at 2005 levels to above 2007 levels in most cases in a matter of just a matter of four or five months. So we've caught up to those 2007 levels, which be honest with you, I had some doubt for a little while there that we would ever catch back up with them. And now we're heading ahead of them at this point. We're gonna go higher than 2007 levels. The projections for the spring are that it's gonna be one of the most incredible selling seasons that we've ever experienced in anybody's real estate careers, even those of us that have been around for many, many, many years. So, um, so now a lot of questions that I get right now is how does the election, how are the elections going to uh, affect the real estate market? And, and certainly the long-term policies of whoever takes the presidency um, and the houses and the Senate will certainly affect the longevity of the recovery that we're in, it will either start to emphasize it and, um, and maximize it and build it and make it last longer and longer, or the, or the policies of that party will end up um, shortening the recovery. But that doesn't mean that January 22nd, the day after the, 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 the president or the new president is sworn in, that 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 certain party is gonna affect this economic recovery. New London County, County's been in great shape um, for the last couple of years, our job climate has been building, building, building. You know, we've got General Dynamics. We've got the Navy bringing new boats in and building new boats over General Dynamics. All the families that are attached to those boats. We've got Yale New Haven Hospital battling with Hartford Healthcare, and that the same positions getting paid higher and higher salaries in order to secure the jobs that these two hospitals, uh, two hospital um, uh, communities need. Um, we have Dominion. Um, we have all the support staff for all these major companies. We still have Pfizer. A lot of people discount Pfizer. Pfizer's are constantly bringing people in and shipping people out. It's a great resource for, uh, for, a, buyer, for a buyer supply in any real estate market. So, um, so we're in a great job climate. And that tells us that we will be in a pretty good position minus something catastrophic happening. And I don't mean COVID. The COVID hasn't proven to be something catastrophic. It's been catastrophic for many families, but not for the real estate market, um, obviously. So um, I, our job market has been able to make up. And obviously, New London, New London County has been very fortunate with the COVID occurrences. 
Um, so it hasn't affected us like it has affected some of the rest of the uh, world and the rest of the country. But so for the coming year or two, I expect to, to see a building market, an inclining pricing market. Um, the other thing that's really affected our, um, our, our, our sale unit numbers and also volume numbers is the interest rates. You know, you can get a VA insured mortgage right now if you're a veteran for 2.75% with no money down for 30 years with no mortgage insurance. They have a funding fee, but no mortgage insurance, no monthly mortgage insurance. That is an incredible rate. That is a government negative interest rate system, right? So you can get a conventional loan with good credit at 3%, if not a little bit below or a little bit above 3%. So these are lifetime rates. And I know we've spoken of lifetime rates in the past, but these are truly lifetime rates. These are rates that you'll never have to refi. There's no ability to get lower than two and three quarters and 3% on a 30 year mortgage. So um, these are lifetime rates. And, that, and, and to talk about the rates a little bit too, if you have a $250,000 mortgage and you finance it at 3% versus 4%, you saved yourself $50,000 over the 30 year schedule, $50,000. And because you're never gonna refinance that 3% rate, you truly have saved yourself $50,000. The only limit on that savings is how long you stay in the house. So, so this is where we are. It is, a, it is one hell of a market. Um, it's not so great for buyers, but if you're a seller and you're thinking about selling, um, one other piece of advice I would give you, make sure that you speak to a couple people. Make sure you speak to at least one of, your, one of the agents that you're speaking of who, who's doing at least 25, 30 units a year. And why I say that is because you need to know that that person has a good understanding on where the market's heading. What we sold the house for last week is not the number that we're gonna sell a house for this week. It is that changing to your favor. Um, um, so you wanna make sure that you're dealing with somebody that has a lot of experience and can tell you where those numbers are heading because each and every sale is getting a little bit more money. Um, so here at the Bill Heenan Group, we're always available for conversation. You can always visit us on our website at www.billheenan.net. You can always call me directly on my cell phone at 860-460-8053. We always look forward to your call. Have a great night and that's it.